the fire sermon. The river's tent is broken. The last fingers of leaf clutch and sink into the wet bank. The wind crosses the brown land unheard. The nymphs are departed. Sweet Thames, run softly till I end my song. The river bears no empty bottles, sandwich papers, silk handkerchiefs, cardboard boxes, cigarette ends, or other testimony of summer nights. The nymphs are departed. And their friends, the loitering heirs of city directors, departed, have left no address. By the waters of Lehman, I sat down and wept. Sweet Thames, run softly till I end my song. Sweet Thames, run softly, for I speak not loud or long. But at my back, in a cold blast, I hear the rattle of the bones and chuckle spread from ear to ear. A rat crept softly through the vegetation dragging its slimy belly on the bank. While I was fishing in the dull canal, on a winter evening round behind the gas house, musing upon the king, my brother's wreck, and on the king, my father's death before him, white bodies naked on the low, damp ground, and bones cast in the little, low, dry garret, rattled by the rat's foot only year to year. But at my back, from time to time, I hear the sound of horns and motors, which shall bring Sweeney to Mrs. Porter in the spring. Oh, the moon shone bright on Mrs. Porter and on her daughter. They wash their feet in soda water. Et oh, ces voix d'enfants chantant dans la coupole. Twit, twit, twit. Jug, 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 jug. So rudely forced. Terrier. Unreal City. Under the brown fog of a winter noon. Mr. Eugenides, the Smyrna merchant, unshaven with a pocket full of currants, CIF London documents at sight, asked me in demotic French to luncheon at the Cannon Street Hotel, followed by a weekend at the Metropole. violet hour, when the eyes and back turn upward from the desk, when the human engine waits like a taxi throbbing, waiting, I, Tiresias, though blind, throbbing between two lives, old man with wrinkled female breasts, can see at the violet hour, the evening hour that strives homeward and brings the sailor home from sea, the typist home at tea time, time, clears her breakfast, lights a stove and lays out food in tins. Out of the window, perilously spread, her drying combinations touched by the sun's last rays. On the divan are piled at night her bed, stockings, slippers, camisoles and stays. I, Tiresias, old man with wrinkled dugs, perceived the scene and foretold the rest. I, too, awaited the expected guest. He, the young man, carbuncular, arrives. A small house agent's clerk, with one bold stare, one of the low on whom assurance sits as a silk hat on a Bradford millionaire. 
The, the time is now propitious, as he guesses. The meal is ended. She is bored and tired, endeavours to engage her in caresses, which still are unreproved if undesired. Flushed and decided, he assaults at once. Exploring hands encounter no defence. His vanity requires no response and makes a welcome of indifference. I, Tavisius, have foresuffered all enacted on this same divan or bed. I, who have sat by Thebes below the wall and walked among the lowest of the dead, bestows one final patronizing kiss and gropes his way, finding the stairs unlit. She turns. She turns and looks a moment in the glass, hardly aware of her departed lover. Her brain allows one half-formed thought to pass. Well... Now that's done, I'm glad it's over. When lovely woman stoops to folly and paces about the room again alone, she smooths her hair with automatic hand and puts a record on the gramophone. I want to be loved for you, just you, nobody else but you. I want to be loved for you, love. This music crept by me upon the waters and along the strand up Queen Victoria Street. O oh, city, city, I can sometimes hear beside a public bar in Lower Thames Street the pleasant whining of a mandolin and a clatter and a chatter from within where fishmen lounge at noon, where the walls of Magnus Martyr hold inexplicable splendor of Ionian white and gold. The river sweats oil and tar. The barges drift with the turning tide. Red sails wide to leeward swing on the heavy spar. The barges wash drifting logs down Greenwich Reach past the Isle of Dogs Vallala, laia, vallala, laia, lala. Elizabeth and Lester, beating oars. The stern was formed a gilded shell, red and gold. The brisk swell rippled both shores. Southwest wind carried downstream the peal of bells, white towers. Vallala, laia. Vallala, laia, lala. Trams and dusty trees. Highbury bore me. Richmond and Kew undid me. By Richmond, I raised my knees, supine in the floor of a narrow canoe. My feet are at Moorgate, and my heart under my feet. After the event, he wept. He promised a new start. I made no comment. What should I resent? On Margate Sands, I can connect nothing with nothing. Broken fingernails of dirty hands, my people, humble people who expect nothing. La la! To Carthage, then I came, burning, 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 burning. O oh Lord, thou pluckest me out, O oh Lord, thou pluckest, burning.